Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add signals using code in Godot. Now, why might we want to do this? Well, take a look at this simple project scenario. So you can see here I have my main scene and my main scene has a script. And if I look down here in my resources folder, you can see I have the main scene, of course, which is my default scene. But then I also have scene one and scene two. Now let's take a look at those. So I'm going to click on scene one here, and it's very simple. It has a color rectangle as its root node, and then it has a button called button. And if I look at scene two, it also has a color rect as a background, and it has a button named in the scene tree named button. And so the question is, how can we add those scenes? How can we instantiate them, add them as children of the main scene, but then communicate with those buttons? How do we add signals to those buttons so that we can actually make them do something? So let's learn how to do that. So what I'm going to do, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and close these. Okay. Just remember that each of those scenes has a child node named button. And so let's come over to main and let's bring, go over to code view. And the first thing that we're going to do, as soon as our program begins, we want to add scene one to the stage. So let me write that custom function. So I'm going to write keyword function and I'm just going to say add, I'll say add scene one. And we're right now, we're just going to say pass. And now I'm going to repeat that and say add scene two. And it's going to pass. And of course, the first thing that I want my program to do as soon as it's ready to run for the first time is I am going to manually call add scene one. I'm going to manually call that function. Okay. Now, of course, right now, our fu this function doesn't do anything, it's passing. But what I want to do is instantiate scene one. So I'm going to call this scene one, and that's going to be equal to loading something out of our resource library, in this case, scene one. And I need to instance it like that. And then if I wanted to add it to main, I could just say add child scene one, just like that. And let's see if this works, just to make sure our code is working. If I run it, this is popping up and boom, we see the red scene. And then we have this button that is a child of scene one. So how do we actually code that button so that it does something? So let me exit out of here and come back over to script view. So what can we do? Well, what we need to do is we want to connect a signal to scene one's child button, which is named button. So how do we do that? I'm just going to see scene one. And first thing I have to do is get that child node. So I'm going to say get underscore node. And I know that that node is called button. How do I know that? Let me just come over here to scene one. And here it is. Notice I'm on scene one here. That button, if I zoom out a little bit so you can see it right here, has a name of button. So that's what I'm trying to get access in my code. So I'm saying scene one, get node button. And then what I want to do is I want to connect a signal to it. And so what I'm going to do is connect a pressed signal to it. And then I'm going to have it reference itself. And then in Godot, what I can do is tell Godot what function I want to be called when that button is pressed. And all I have to do here is just write add scene two or whatever function that I want to call when that button is pressed. Now, just before we write all of our code, let's just simply print hello and make sure that this is actually working the way we think it is. So I've typed this all up. Make sure that in between quotes here, this needs to match this function name right here. And let's see if we our button is working. So if I click this, boom, and I exit out of full screen mode, I should see down here in my output panel that sure enough, it printed out hello, because that button has a signal now that we connected using code. Now, of course, what we want to do in this case, I'm going to copy all of this. We don't want to print out hello. What we want to do is add a scene. And which scene do we want to add? We want to add number two. 
And so I'm just going to change some things around here and add scene two. And but when this one's pressed, I don't want to call that function. I want to call this one. And so essentially those two buttons, we're just going to go back and forth between scene one and scene two with this code. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to run it. Click me. It should turn to scene two. Boom. Yep. We see blue. Go back to red. Go back to blue. Go back to red. Go back to blue. Excellent. So that, my friends, is how you add signals to child nodes using code.